Yes, yes, I know I should have called down earlier, but I'm sure if your cashier puts his mind to it, he can get my bill ready in time, okay? You think you could be still for just one minute here? Why don't you just leave, okay? Just leave. No, I'm not going anywhere till you tell me why you're going back to San Francisco. I live there. I realize that, but we're in the middle of a project. We are not in the middle of anything. You're on your way to Florida, remember? Well, the project needs you. Oh, oh I am so touched, Tony. Look, look, I think I understand this now. If Dr. Gordon, okay, he's an egomaniac. That's probably what it, all of this is about, right? But once he finds out that you really know how to work on Willow Shores, he's going to be groveling at your feet. That's it, Rita, okay? <laughs> That's just what I need. Another man groveling at my feet. You know, you're not making any sense. You're raised down here. You're trying to pack. I don't know what upset you. I wish you'd tell me. Tony, you are the most naive man I have ever met in my entire life. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm naive. Ah, uh, I'm really in the dark. Enlighten me, okay? I don't know anything. No, I'm just, just get really out of here. Just go, all right? Just go on that little symposium that your wife so thoughtfully arranged and just forget I ever came to Port Here. Her. Now, you listen to me. We have known each other for a long time. And if one of us has a gripe, we know how to spit it out. I do not read minds, okay? Well, that is really a shame. So what does that mean? It just means... No, you're all right. Tell me what it means. It means if you could read my mind, you would know what I was thinking. We would not even have this conversation. We're not having conversation. We're having double talk, thanks to Rita. Good, good, because that's all you're going to get. Okay? So where are you going now? I'm going to go and take care of you. Okay, great. Listen, I'm going to be right there in that chair. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting for you to come back. Oh, no, you're going to no, have to no, tell no, me. No, 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 no. I think we've wasted enough time with each other. I think you should go back to your wife. Go back to your wife. You both deserve each other. leave and I told you I wasn't gonna leave till you give me an explanation I miss my home so I'm going to leave how's that one why now let's just say I overstayed my welcome let's not let's tell the truth oh sure you'd like to hear that you never hear that at home say that again what do you mean I was just mumbling to myself, excuse me, I do not want to keep the bellman waiting. Forget about the bellman for a change, all right? Oh, oh Tony Jones can actually get angry. Yeah, How I can get angry. You know, and stop jerking yes. me around. Just oh. stop. Oh, I'm jerking you around. Yeah, you're jerking me. You know, Tony, come talk to me. Tony, come talk to me. Please, talk to me now, and yet you don't talk to me. It's not important, okay? Why don't you just run along and go on your little trip? Okay, all right. Now, you're upset because I left at Will Shores, right? Me. See, now I would be upset about that too. That's okay. You know, if you pulled out on me, I'd be so angry and I'd want some advance warning. But see, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't have any notice myself. I know, I know, I know, because that was Bobby's idea. Just like sending you off to the symposium was Bobby's idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Right. What does that mean? Well, has, haven't you ever wondered why she's doing all this, Tony? No, I don't have to wonder about it. I was working hard. You know, she knew I wouldn't leave Willow Shores mm -hmm. unless I, I, you know, I would I'd never go to Florida. Yeah, yeah, and, you, and you've been jumping through hoops trying to get you to get her to go ever since then, What right? is wrong with that? Why are you begging your wife to go? All you had to do was ask me. I would have gone with you. I would have gone with you like that. Oh, my God. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, man. Rita, I, I, I owe you an apology. I mean, I swear on everything that I, I didn't have any idea about this. I, I, I would not lead you on. I see, I see. So, so uh, you just use me as a shoulder to cry on when your wife deserted you at Thanksgiving. Is no, that no, 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 no. I used you as a friend. Well, what about Willow Shores? How do you explain that, huh? Oh, Rita, I really need you. We're really a team. I couldn't do this without you, Rita. Oh, Rita has so much to give. But you do. You, yeah. you, ha you have so much to give. It's just nothing you're interested in, is that it? I guess I, I... I don't know. I misled you. I definitely misled you about Bobby. Oh, please. Please. Fill me in about Bobby. 
Bobby. Would you I not be you. sarcastic with me anymore? <laughs> now, Bobby and I had, had some problems when you came to town, and you know, I, I don't know. I, she, she drives me crazy sometimes. She did pull some yeah, stunts, but... Uh -huh. And then she that... sat you down, and she explained all of it to you, and you forgave her. Oh, so sweet. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Miss Lloyd, your cab's waiting. Back ready? I wish you'd change your mind. I will, if you will. Tony, I'll, I'll, I'll book the next flight to Florida with you. Bobby doesn't ever have to know. We're... Let me get one thing straight. Bobby and I do not have that kind of relationship. And I would not do that. Well, I think someone should tell Bobby that then. There you go. You know, I don't mind you being upset with me, but I do not appreciate you putting a number on her head about this. Putting a number on her head? Oh, Tony. Tony, I think she's putting one on your... I hope you realize what a fool she's making out of you, Tony. Hello? Tell me the rumors aren't true. Is that Tony? Uh, no. It's business. Are you there, Bobby? Uh, uh yes, I am, but I'm, I'm busy right now. Oh, I'm sure you are. Packing up an entire family on such short notice is no easy task. <laughs> yeah, well, you know me. When I want something, I go for it. You can't talk. Uh, no, no, but do we really have anything to say? Oh, plenty. All right, well, in that case, why don't I try to call you from Florida? No, no, this can't wait. Uh, I'll have to call you back. Uh, I want to see you in person in my office. I really don't see how that's possible. Oh, you're so bright, you'll find a way. Don't be late, sweetie. Okay. Oh, well, no, of course I understand. It's just that it'll have to be a quick meeting, because I, I can only give you a few minutes. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye. Who's that? That was one of my adoptive mothers. Her, her papers aren't signed yet, and she heard that I was going away, and now she's a wreck, so I guess I better stop by over there. Ooh, hmm. word travels fast. Tony doesn't even know about it yet. Yeah, well, um, she lives close to Kelly, so I guess Ruby must have told her. I don't know, I didn't ask. Well, you're not going to be too long, are you? No, 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 I'll just be a few minutes. Okay, well, I'll go uh, grab that luggage then, okay. if I can find it. And I'll tell Sarah and Ruby about what's going on. Okay, thank you, that's great. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, if you get hung up, just uh, let me know, and I'll call the airlines, and I'll put you guys on a different flight, huh? No, Frisco, I am going with my husband, and nothing is going to stop him. What do you want? So you're going to Orlando with your husband. Uh, what's it to you? Calm down, Bobby. I think it's a wonderful idea. I'd get away myself if I could. You aren't caught. Of course not. The work's going along ahead of schedule. I just wanted to tell you to enjoy yourself. I mean, if there's anybody who needs to get away with her new husband and her children, it's you. I'll be with them every second. Do you know that's really not necessary because the hotel that Tony has you booked into has a marvelous program for kids. How do you know where we're staying? How? Well, let's just say that good news travels fast. Get to the point, Broxton. I haven't got all day. You've made some serious errors in judgment recently. I don't want to see you make another. Meaning? Meaning, Mrs. Jones, you may think that the best way to protect your family, your precious son, from me is by leaving town. But I'd like to tell you that no matter where you go, I'll have friends. Is that a threat? Excuse me, Mr. Broxton. I'm leaving for the dentist, but there's a call for you. It'll have to wait. I'm busy. I'll call back. It's Mr. Carmichael, sir. He says there's a problem. Then you'll have to wait.
Well, the solution was not beyond you, Carmichael. Right, next time, why don't you show a little initiative yourself? Look, I've got things to deal with myself. Right. Thank you for waiting. You don't scare me, Broxton. Oh, of course I do. That's why you're attracted to me. Oh, I scare you. Why else would you have waited? I waited so that I could tell you to save it. You don't need your friends to follow my son or me all over Orlando. I like to play it safe. Then stop wasting your time on me and finish the job in the catacombs. Well, with you out of town, I'll be able to work night and day. Just make sure Robert Scorpio doesn't find out. How could he? Because you're not going to tell him, aren't you? You can threaten me all you want. That's not going to stop Robert from doing what he's going to do if he finds out what you're up to. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Jones. I never leave all my eggs in one basket. Now, I am sure that you're very anxious to get going. I'm just showing you to the door. Don't bother. Have a good trip. to go, right. we just need people. All okay. right, go ahead. Okay, we'll be, right be outside. Out. Okay. All right, you wait outside. Okay. There's your clothes here. Okay, honey, yeah. Ruby. Yeah? I really need your help on yours. This, you are the only one that I can trust. I don't understand. Listen to me. I gotta talk fast. Mark Broxton has a file in his office. Yes? It's marked Billion Dollar Baby, okay? Now, there's a chance that Robert Scorpio is gonna find out some things that Broxton is involved in. I, I don't understand. If you hear anything that Robert Scorpio even suspects what Broxton is into, you get into that... Honey, I'll be right out, I promise! Get hold of that file, okay? Get in that office and get hold of that file. This is about Lucas, isn't it? I can't go into it, Ruby, okay? Just get the file and destroy it. It's in a file cabinet that's next to Broxton. Uh, Honey, right, promise. A few last minute things, I'm just, I'll be right out. Come I on, promise. You'll be right, right out. out. I'll start get it right out. Just start no, the car. The car started. Come on. I'll okay. get in there. I'll be right there. Don't worry. Okay, you understand? Uh, By the desk. Top drawer. Okay, okay. I, I, I don't like it, but I understand it is the file cabinet by the desk. Top drawer. Okay, Thank I've you. got it, darling. Thank you. All right. Don't here. worry. Okay. okay, take your coat. Come on, let's go. You're going I'm to, I want you to forget everything except Tony and the children and the vacation. I know. Absolutely nothing else you can think about. Okay. All right, goodbye. Bye. Fly safely. He's excited about his trip, too. I'm glad I brought it. Good. How's he doing? Oh, he's getting used to it. Oh, good. How are you doing? Well, I'm hanging in there. He'll be much happier when we get there. Yeah, well, it was pretty chaotic, wasn't it? Understatement. <laughs> but here we are. Yep, here we are. Okay. Come on, Daddy, let's go. Oh, that's up. Okay, you go with Mommy over the back here. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. She's going to get on the train now. Oh. I think she's Honey? What? Rita. Uh, I think I get the yeah, I know. Come on, let's go. Well, she's got luggage. Where is she going? She's going home. Dr. Gordon didn't want her people. He wanted his own people. Why didn't you say something to me? I don't know. I guess I, I just forgot. Let's go. Let's go. We're yeah. going to be late. Come on. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Dr. Jones. The lady over there asked me to give it this to you. Tony, I'm sorry we had to end things on such a bad note. You have every right to distrust me. Uh, you and I did not exactly have the most honest relationship in the world. But at least I never tried to hide my affairs. 